the Olight Baldor S. Let's check it out. Olight's been offering weapons lights for a number of years and they just keep getting better. Uh, today we're going to take a look at the Baldor S. This is a light laser combination. It's 800 lumens with this little package. Fully adjustable rail system and you can recharge this directly onto your firearm. And the green laser is incredibly intense. This goes up from the 600 lumens of the original Baldor RL, which had a red laser, to 800 lumens. And guys, the compact size makes it an excellent light to be able to carry or for home defense. Comes in the black and also the desert tan. Now you get 10% off using Suit00 in the affiliate link down below in the description. And we really appreciate Olight for sending the Baldor S for this review. Ever since Olight introduced their mini series, whether it was the PL Mini, which was just a light, or they went with their light and lasers with the ball door. These have been some of my favorite lights. Small, compact package, and yet very bright. I mean, we're talking about 800 lumens. <laughs> it is phenomenally bright. It gives you 130 meters of throw. And for size comparison, here is one of the Surefire X300 Ultras. You can see that it is considerably larger. Or we have the Baldor Pro. This has 1,350 lumens. It's really bright. You have your laser underneath, but it is much larger, but it does have more capability. But to be honest with you, as far as just regular things that I'm doing for self-defense, I feel like that the Baldor Mini Series is just right. Now here we have the different mode settings. Uh, we can go from just light to light and laser to just laser. Here with the light, now we have light and laser. Now you can see the laser and now just laser. Uh, this is a very intense laser. I think Olight's really upgraded this even over their RL, which is their red laser. But guys, 800 lumens, this will take care of business. <laughs> now with 800 lumens, it can be a little bit too bright and especially for the indoors. And so you can double click on these back panels and it goes down to 100 lumens. So you have 100 lumen light, double click really quick, and you're back to 800 lumens. 100 lumens right here, double click, and we have the 800 lumens. Double click, you're down to the 100 lumens. So it's really easy to do if you feel like it's too bright, but to be honest with you, uh, the lumens here, it's not washing that door out. Then we have just the laser. Guys, this laser is intense. Now if you press and hold, it's momentary. As soon as you release it, it's going to shut off. If you want to keep it on constant on, just press it quickly. Now you're on constant on. I have a mineral glass lens. It's protected by the bezel. It's raised just a touch. Uh, I have a smooth reflector. You see your LED. Also, the laser is at the top. and We're going to show that. Uh, here it is. I mean, that thing is incredible. It's easy to attach. You have a lever that holds it together, that locks it. We have a Glock rail and a 1913 Picatinny rail. You can switch that out. One thing about it too, with it in the open position, it does adjust. You can actually put this on almost every pistol that has a Picatinny rail on it on the market. And so here, we're gonna pop it in, adjust it, and you can just adjust it with the ratchet system. And then this locks it down and it is not going anywhere. And so it puts it right here next to your trigger guard. So you can hit it really easily with just a little bit of a movement from your finger. And of course, it's on the other side. It is ambidextrous. Then we remove it, just pop it, and we can pull it right off. Now, the charging system is probably one of the best on the market. We can take it, 
it's magnetic it goes straight to the light with it on the firearm you can be charging this and then pull it off when you're done and it shows up green when it's fully charged red when it's charging here we have the fence in front of us about 30 yards good bright lumens really shows up a nice area you see the hot spot but there is spill all around it you can kind of catch the edge there then we're going to switch it to the laser okay that's lighting laser you should be able to see that laser right on that dark spot right there I'm telling you guys this laser is really intense now let's go ahead and go straight to laser and there it is i mean you can see it it's bright and guys here's a close-up at 30 yards i'm standing 30 yards off and there's the laser very intense kind of hard to hold it in one spot but there it is brightens up this whole field you'll see on that tree the laser just really shows up extremely well down there at my range i can see that laser really easily in fact on my rubber dummy right there i mean this laser is really intense and the light just shines all over the yard now when we do our night shooting we do it in 22 the biggest reason is because we have neighbors uh, but you know we can get a feel for how the light works we can shoot we can uh, identify targets and we can see how the light really performs and also again with the laser it allows you just to kind of see how it works and what you're going to face in a situation i highly recommend though you doing some kind of training in the dark if possible um, even if it's with snap caps and inside your home but it's really important to see what the light and the laser how it will react one thing you don't want to do is get behind a wall where it's partially hitting the light and it reflects back on you right here in front of me is the rubber dummy uh, you can't see it it's pretty much blacked out there is a light on this camera that may pick up a little bit but typically you're not going to see it and so i'm going to go ahead and just turn the light on here we go we've got the you can see the dummy it's clear view here we have just the laser i'm not sure you can pick it up but it is really bright very intense i really feel like you need to have a light and laser because the laser lets you know you're on target the light identifies the target and it's really important to have both especially in a dark situation now if it's lighter a laser's fine as long as you can see but in the pitch black dark there's nothing that substitute a light and then you have that laser you can get right on target and to be honest with you i don't have to even look at my sights as long as i've got the laser sighted in so we took it down during the day as well because we wanted to test it with full center fire self-defense calibers and so we were able to shoot, check the mount, make sure that it was holding up well. And guys, I'm telling you, we've done a ton of testing with these mounts and they hold up extremely well. We've never had one to fail. And it's so easy to take it on and off. Now having a light on your firearm, especially for home defense, it's very important to have a light to be able to identify before you fire that weapon. But the one thing about having a laser is that you can actually pinpoint the beam. You don't really have to look at your sights, as long as you've got it sighted into your handgun. But the real key to a laser and the real advantage is that I can shoot with a laser in offhand positions. Uh, I may not be able to get behind my sights. I might be able to point around or look around a corner with my pistol. But before I can get to my sights, I'm able to see the laser on the target. And so that is one of the most important things about a laser, in my opinion. But putting the light and laser together allows you to illuminate, plus it allows you to get on target faster. And then obviously, if you just want the light, just turn the laser off. But if you want just the laser, use it. But one thing I'll caution you about, especially in the dark with just using a laser, is that you can't identify what you're shooting. And that is important, especially if you have family members around. Guys, we're going to check out why you don't want to shine a light and for that light to reflect back on you. If I'm coming around this corner and I put the light up before I turn the corner, it's actually making me brighter. As I come around, I'm, it's actually reflecting back on me. Here, as you can see, it's in the dark. As I come around, then I put the light on and then I'm not backlighting. I'm not reflecting back on me like this. Here, here backlight and then here I'm a silhouette and you can't see me yes you can see the light <laughs> but now the muzzle's pointed out 
Now these lights are IPX4, which means that you can splash water on them from any direction and they should be fine. They're not necessarily submersible, but we went ahead and submerged them. Now one of the things we found out was submerging it, we got a little bit of flicker. Once I dried it off, it was fine. And so again, we've got that really bright light. But you really don't want to drop this and leave it in water too long. Unlike their standard lights, which are IPX8, and you can leave them underwater for a long time. And they are impact resistant up to one and a half meters. And guys, as far as holster options, Vetter Holsters makes lights for almost all of the O-lights. And uh, in fact, I just bought this one from Vetter this, to fit my actual ball door RL, which is a little bit different than the S, but it fits just right. Also for the ball door Pro, uh, I did get my Model 20. I do have a Vetter holster for it, and it fits very well. So that's just one of the options. There are other options. I think. Hidden Hybrid Holsters also makes holsters for Olight compatible lights. Now the price on the Baldor S is $83.52. You do get a 10% discount like we've talked about. Uh, link down below in the description using Suit00. Guys, I've been a big fan of Olight for over 10 years. In fact, my everyday EDC has been an Olight ever since my first review, which was in 2011. And this is the Warrior Mini 2. It's just a brilliant light. But I still have my M10 Maverick, and it still works. I mean, these are great little lights, and this has been around for a number of years. Okay, for my bedside light, I like the Baldor RL, uh, but now I've switched to the Baldor S because of the brighter lumens. I like the green laser. And so, guys, we've done a lot of testing with these lights over the years. We've done a lot of torture tests, and these lights just hold up. They have a five-year warranty and they have a 30-day money-back guarantee. So they're just great lights. I don't just talk about Olight because I have an affiliate program with them. I talk about Olight because I just love their lights. I have a lot of choices with flashlights and I choose Olight. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. It's a mineral glass lens that's protected by a little bit of a raised be a be barrel. It's a raised barrel. Olight started out with their PL1. Uh, whoops. But here I still have the M10. But still. Light and laser. Ah, there it is. Oh. Okay, that's all horse crap. looking down into this thing. Look at that. That's kind of crazy looking. <laughs> Where was a disco, baby? Whoa, 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 whoa. We could do this. 